What's going on guys, uh, today in this video we're going to be testing out a Fast 6 free edition. So let's go ahead and go to Vast.com. Let's go to home. I'm going to teach you guys quickly how to uh, download and install this. So we're going to go ahead and go to home. No thanks with the free production. Let's download it. We're going to go ahead and run it. We'll just let this download. We're just going to go ahead and click yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close in our exporter. So you want to click English next. Uh, let's go ahead and participate. Now, I highly recommend Google Chrome. I use them in my personal browser, but for this demonstration, we're not going to be using it. So I'm afraid it's just a point for us, which we don't need at all, in my opinion. But in this version of Vast, it comes with uh, sandboxing, which apparently uh, I think all ABs are either coming with sandboxing or hips. And what sandboxing does is it ter puts us any executable or EXE or some other virus known uh, format and it pretty much uh, puts it in a virtual environment. And if the virus does anything that's it shouldn't be doing, it's not going to run at all, which uh, is a lot, a lot better than most, uh, it's a lot better than signature based. Welcome to Avast. Okay, so we got that little welcome to Avast. We get a widget right here, gadget, I mean, but yeah, we'll just ignore it. So I'm going to go ahead and close the ECP meter. Okay, so... You don't have to register. I want to upgrade, but we don't, have, we don't want to do that. A vast virus database has been updated. And it has a little bit of sounds. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the UI. We do not have to register. At least I'm not going to. Uh, if this turns out good and you want it, then uh, I guess. Like, I want to look at the scene boxing. And uh, here's what I recommend doing. Go into settings if you're going to be using this, and click enable. But you want just go ahead and go to auto. So it's just automatically plus anything in sandbox. That's all you have to really do. But in this demonstration, we're just going to be not doing that. We're just going to go ahead and use its normal stuff. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and update it, which is right. You're not. No, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, update engine and virus definitions. And this is 6.0.1125. Are we up to date? Let's see if the program needs updating. And there's already up to date. So, okay. So, that's really all you have to do for now. Doesn't look like we restarted or anything, which is nice. So, okay, let's go ahead and get some links. And it installs this crazy, on export it just looks crazy, it's some sort of uh, rating, site rating toolbar. 
but we'll just ignore it. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the MDL. either this or net. Okay, it's gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, this is always a good sign. So let's go ahead and get a zero day, which is brand new uh, rogue or fake ant virus. Let's go ahead and run it. And let's just go ahead and just convert and download and say file. I said no export reporting. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm just going to go ahead and open a sandbox and press OK. Run. And let's see if Avast does anything. If it successfully opens, that means it's gone past through. Uh, of asps. So, like I said, this is a brand new virus, so it's it would be a good thing that they did catch this, but don't be surprised if they don't. I'm going to open the sandbox like I normally do. And it turns off export.exe and turns back on. So I wonder if it's installing the virus successfully. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. Oh, and the uh, rope did get through, so if the fake AV. So yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and just X out of that. So that got through. Okay, let me just go ahead and go to the bed. And, uh, wow, this virus is blocking our explorer from opening. So we got a pretty nasty infection right here. But okay, so, rogue zero day pass. And it, I'm already on pass block or unknown. So, there you go. And as you can see, this rogue is screwing up in our explorer. So, I got, I'm going to go pause the camera. I got to go run our kill. I will be right back. Okay, guys. So, that was one pretty nasty rogue. It completely crashed my computer or this uh, virtual machine. Uh, so, I went ahead and put enable auto sandbox. And I'm going to go ahead and now do some more testing. Uh, now, it looks like the rogue was doing something. Actually, there it is right now. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pause it again. I'm sorry. I just want to let you guys know I am going to be auto sandboxing now. So, I put sandbox on auto, which is just one change. But I don't like going through all that trouble of pressing next and everything. So, let's go ahead and stop this. Okay guys, I actually had it, our kill didn't actually work, so I had to go into combo fix just to uh, restore it, but uh, yeah, just don't, just remember, don't be surprised, that was a zero day brand new row, and it was pretty bad, so don't be surprised if uh, Vast didn't block it, but like I said, I do have auto sandboxing on, so now a Vast should be doing something at least. Uh, so I'm going to go back to Malware Doom main list. And here's that little sucker that uh, was seriously killing us, and that's the exact same one. So I'm not gonna mess with that. So let's go ahead and try something else. Let's go ahead and do an exploit. Brent that was locked. 
Okay, I'm gonna hear that a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and disable that and uh, the sounds and the best. Now you guys can change it if you go to vastas.com or vast whatever. Uh, just just look up change of vast sounds. And you should be in the page. You can change it to different ones, whether it's languages or just different sayings. It can be you can sound make it sound Canadian or like Santa Claus or whatever. So uh, I used to make it sound have a hillbilly one or a southern one, whatever I was. I used to have a vest. So okay, so I just forgot what I was doing, but now I remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sounds. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and save all of that. It's not gonna affect anything. You just don't get any. You don't hear anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Trojan spy eye. Same thing. We got a. Uh, that was just URL blocked, and that's what you want to look for. If you see a pop antivirus pop up uh, before it does anything, before you even see the downloading, before it even asks you do one download, uh, that's a mate. That's actually really really good. You do not want to download the virus and wait for the virus to already be downloaded before it says that. So uh, this one's a dead page. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there. This is where Mauer calls home. And this isn't good. Okay, that blocks it. So I'm not even keeping track of Notepad anymore. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of random links. Okay, that blocked it. Okay. Incognito exploit kit. Blocked. So that's because we're doing really, really good so far. So, this NCC. Blocked. So, as of that, see, this is actually really, really good. I'm going to do a fake AV from, again, this, hopefully this one will actually be better. But my DNS servers blocked that. Let's do another fake AV. Um, put that, I wish that, I wish that wasn't going to be blocked. Fake AV. So I'm going to go ahead and search fake AV. And we'll try this one. That's been blocked. Compromise site. Which means it's been taken over. That's been Courage and horse blocked. I am Mac defense. It's like a Mac virus. And that's blocked. So I'm gonna do one more, but we're gonna get a really, really bad one. These things, the worst you can get. Around the worst, you can get the your computer won't boot after this if you if the, the past does not detect this. So, type your own. I might as well just try two of these. So, maybe nothing happened. Uh, when was this taken? I was taken actually about a week ago. That's been blocked. Okay, that's a good sign. Good sign. So, that should be just about it, so, my conclusion, uh, in my opinion, Avast will pick up on that rogue uh, later on, but uh, other than that, it's actually doing really, really good at this point. Uh, I highly recommend it for people that want just a simple, free antivirus software, but with a few customizations. So thank God, thanks guys, and I'll catch you guys later.